It's also a doctor? <laughs> Looks like I'm missing another dance recital. You're not ready for all this new binge pipe content, but check out these shows anyway, you risk taker. Mm, I love the relish that is. Binge pipe loves bingeable content like you don't know Jack. Binge pipe. Corporations are people too. Hey there, I'm Cookie, and I'll bet you five bucks you can't guess my name. Oh, damn it. Oh, hey, Cookie's here. How hilarious. You know, you get to stop being Cookie after the game's over, pal. Me, I have to live like this. And right this way. Time for question one. To get things started, the call is coming from inside the ballad. Sorry, I've got to get this. Hello? It's for Danny Boy. Um, who's calling? The hills, the hills are calling. The war, the war is calling. The pipes, the pipes are calling. Or the cream, the cream is calling. What'd you guys pick? You picked the cream, the cream is calling. You did that. Danny Boy, probably the most famous Irish tune of them all, begins with, Oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. <laughs> yeah, it's weird for them to call instead of texting, but what are you gonna do? There are a bunch of pipes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Try this on for size. With her spoon or without her spoon. I keep misremembering the title of HBO's Big Little Lies. Which of these wrong titles most accurately describes the real title? Alliterative slander, onomatopoeia distortion, palindrome perjury, or oxymoronic deceit? Who picked what? Forwards or backwards, you're still wrong. Kapow is both the word and the sound of you crashing and failing. <laughs> Big and little are contradictory terms, but in the title Big Little Lies, they describe the same thing, making it an oxymoron. Other popular oxymorons include Jumbo Shrimp and Charming Trivia Show Host. Wh what? Wh which writer wrote that? That it's time to fire CJ. Why do we do it with three? Feast your eyes upon this. My brother, my brother, and P. And shrimp heaven now, it's a dis or dat. I'm going to list seven names, and for each I need you to tell me if it's a popular podcast on the Apple podcast charts or an adult incontinence product. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between a podcast or a poo solution. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Here it comes. Always discreet. The majority of you deserve my praise. Let's get on with it, shall we? I don't need you anymore. 
And now, throwing shade. What emoji would I use if I were throwing nightshade at all my haters on the internet? Avocado emoji, peanut emoji, peach emoji, or eggplant emoji? Let's see how that shook out. Eggplant is a member of the nightshade family of vegetables. Eggplants are not poisonous, unlike some other nightshades or my fragile emotions. Coming up next, cruel and unusual punishment. Whose torture game is on point? The executioner using the brazen bull, the executioner using the rack, the executioner using an iron maiden, or the executioner using the tub? So what'd you pick? Any medieval torturer knows that you slowly get roasted in the brazen bowl, the rack pulls you apart, and the tub causes maggots to slowly eat you. But the Iron Maiden impales you with a lot of spikes. Well. Round one is over. Time to count your chips while sitting at the table. Currently, player five is in the lead. And as a counterpoint, these players are doing the bad thing. Oh, that means it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Using a screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You can take that to the bank. Six trombones is not a parade. Next up, the old diners, drive-ins, and dives. If Guy Fieri uses the traditional English definition of town, what must his flavor town include? A flavor fountain, a flavor market, a f Oh, look out. <laughs> Player 8 decided to screw. Your answers are on the go. So who got it? To paraphrase Fietti, this answer is bomb.com wrong. <laughs> Let's put this one on the flip-flop. That means this is wrong, I think. <laughs> a town, according to traditional English standards, is a village with a fair or market. I thought an English town, by definition, had to have a little old lady solving local mysteries. Excellent screwing, player eight. Have some cash. Mon père a rétréci. Set. How about this one? Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? It's monster. Called stupid by Aristotle. Octopus coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? How'd we do? Any last words? Not uh, too late. In Aristotle's History of Animals, he called the octopus a stupid creature. A little bad blood there when he was a boy, an octopus used to call him stupid Aristotle. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's called, Come here and look at this fancy fish. And oh yeah, French Cutlet's Prime Tour. It's time for a... Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, focus up. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what popular phrase it rhymes with. 
Here, glove kissing trout. And pay no attention to that punctuation. Are you scared? That other people are having more fun than you? Anxiety of not attending. I can't stand the suspense. What is it? Oh, and player six. Don't think I didn't see what you typed. I just don't care, it's an old joke. You know, I, I've been doing this for 20 years, okay? So if, wait, is that right? 20 years? 1997 minus, no, carry the, oh, 20 years. That is sobering. Anyway, if you want an Easter egg so bad, look at your device. Okay, all right, on with the game. Why not try a train question, but not about the band. Say Thomas the Tank Engine is chugging along at work one day when suddenly someone is murdered inside him. What would the film based on these events be titled? Murder on the Adventure Bay Express? Murder on... Oh, this'll be good. Player six just let loose a screw. Time to find out what you signed up for. Love this part. <coughs> Will the correct answer please rise? Thomas the Tank Engine lives and works on the island of Sodor. <laughs> the twist is that the passenger actually died of a heart attack after realizing he was on an island of sentient talking trains. That would certainly freak me out. Nicely done with that screw player six. This is your cash now. Next, every kiss and reality star begins with K. Place the three Kardashian sisters in alphabetical order by first name. The oldest, the second oldest, the youngest, the youngest, the second oldest, the oldest, the second oldest, the oldest, the youngest, or the youngest, the oldest, the second oldest. Hope you like what you picked. Chloe, spelled K-H-L-O-E, is the youngest. Kim, K-I-M, is the second oldest. And Courtney, K-O-U-R, etc., is the oldest. If you aren't just a little bit angry after this question, you might want to check your pulse. Ow. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. You will definitely eat me. You are what you eat. Every little part. Good luck.
Player 5 takes it! Nice work, Player 5. How does it feel to win? Is it like diving into a pool of pudding and eating your way out? No, not like that. Okay, just asking. You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Okay, so I'm Hank. I wrote the Disser Dad in the game that was just played. You know, was it a popular podcast or an adult incontinence product? Pretty good. It's a pretty good one. So many podcasts to choose from. Really, the hardest part was narrowing it down to what the funny pun category was going to be. We ended up going with My Brother, My Brother, and P. You know, playing off of My Brother, My Brother, and Me. We had so many other options that sadly we had to cut. Wait, wait, don't smell me. Two Dump Queens, Squirty John, How Did Piss Get Made, Dan Carlin's Hardcore Pistery. There were kind of a lot of piss related ones. Shard Up, Planet Runny, WTPF with Mark Marin, Radio Lav, Crap Judgment, My Favorite Movement, Pinch Sash, Dear Pudence, Three Ply All, The Plop House. A lot to choose from. Writing for this game is a lot like jazz. It's the bathroom puns you don't use. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content.